Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2! Last time we, uh, got to pilot the Ashen Knight again, and we went ahead and beat that, uh, magic knight that attacked us. Now, we actually kind of need to rush back to Ymir, <laughs> because things are happening. So, we should probably hurry. Ha! And hurry we shall! Let's ignore all the enemies! I wonder which Jaeger core we're dealing with here. It's a very good question. I really hope everyone's alright. Why is my volume just feel hurry. so loud? That's weird. I have it turned way down and it still feels very, very loud. I found a sedative! Okay! Excuse me, pardon me. We got bigger fish to fry. <clears throat> okay. What's wrong? <sighs> Elise, are you okay? Ugh, I can't believe they sent Jaegers to Ymir. Looks like the Noble Alliance doesn't even care about trying to keep up appearances anymore. That, um, Agnes? Agnes? I'm not sure. Uh, said that she has nothing to do with it, though. Aguinas? I think that was Aguinas. No. I don't... I can't... Re it's been, a, like, a week or two. It, actually, it, it has been two weeks since I've recorded. Um, because last week I only recorded the Hi-Fi Rush. Um, it's true that this kind of thing isn't really her style. If she were to abduct someone, trust me, she'd happily enjoy squeezing the life out of such a na such a nasty spectacle to the very last drop. I suppose it just goes to show that the Noble Alliance isn't quite as united as it looks. True? She does always seem to be up to something. I guess now's as good a time as any to ask. Just who is Misty? I mean, Vita Clotilde, anyway. I know that Misty, the radio show host, and Clotilde, the opera singer, were both just acts. She's a member of the Hexen clan, too. She's known as the Witch of the Abyss, and she vanished after breaking a taboo seven years ago. Think of her as like a sister to Emma. And that blue bird who is usually with her, uh, Grianos? Not sure. Uh, is a familiar like me. A witch? A familiar? Well, I'm lost. But in short, she's related to you and Emma, right? Essentially, yes. Emma's been trying to find Vita ever since she disappeared. She had to put that on hold when her duty required her to join the Academy. But how could we have missed her when she was so close by that whole time? Wait a second. Misty spent a fair amount of time in Trista, going to and from the radio station building. She was popular among the students, too. And in all that time, all those months, you never once realized her true identity? Something's off about that. Vita likely used some form of curse to keep us from finding out. Witches are capable of interfering with the laws of causality and the cognition abilities of others. Cognitive abilities of others. Blah, 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 blah. She probably made it so no information regarding her or her whereabouts would ever reach us. That sounds so frightening. Tell me about it. It makes sense, though. She wouldn't be the only... Um... I, I still can't... <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to say this word. Agnes? I... I don't know. I'm bad at names and stuff. To know how to miss, mess with people's cognitive abilities. Alright, that's all I need to know for now. Anyway, have you caught your breath, Elise? Yes, thank you. We can keep going. Good. Let's get to Ymir. Let's do it! Let's kick some butt! No, we're... <laughs> sorry, I, I forgot that we had screen transitioned. Okay. I don't know if I should be fighting enemies or not. <laughs> I can hear more! Oh no! Why does this have to be happening? 
They might just be warning shots. Try and stay calm. It's true. Are we going to make it in time? I hope so. We're, like, here. I don't know if it was a good idea to avoid all of the enemies, but it's early game, so I'm not too concerned about it. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Everything is on fire. <laughs> That's terrible. Not the funicular. Oh, heavens. True Your that. Highness, please hurry back inside the mansion and hide. Whatever may come to pass, we won't allow them to touch you. But there you are. Oh dear. Okay, so nameless. I got some generics. We are the Northern Jaegers, and we okay. have a contract with the Kreutzen province. Cool. By the order of its lord, Duke Alberea. Dang it. We are here to take you into protective custody. Right. Kreutz. Protective. No. Can we not consent to that? Out of the way, woman. I ask you to leave this village at once. The Schwarzer family has historical connections with the Imperial family. Yeah. So as long as I live, you will not lay a hand on her highness. Don't you dare. <laughs> we're, you got guts if nothing we're else. We're just like down the block. <laughs> we're on the way. But I'm not going to repeat myself again. Our orders are that the lives of all other than Princess Alphen are of no consequence. Am I making myself clear? We're on the way. <laughs> oh, please don't. Don't you dare lay a hand on them. Come on, Dad. Let's do you? it. Kick butt. Uncle Teo. Darling. I am the Baron of Ymir, Teo Schwarzer. Let's do it. And I will serve as your opponent. Begin. Dang, <laughs> dodging bullets. <laughs> Not all talk, I see. The art of swordsmanship has been passed down in the Schwarzer family for generations. We're coming, we're right behind that gate. I couldn't hope to compare to Master Kafai or Lord Arsaid, but I dedicate myself to honing my skills all the same. <laughs> Clearly you're not the type of noble who sits idly by and hires men to fight his battles for him. Are, uh, is that, are you gonna, are you gonna switch sides? But I wonder how much use your sword will have if we try this. Excuse me? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Baron. How dare you! You cowards! Have you no shame? How dare you! All that matters to we Jaegers is fulfilling our contract by any means necessary. Fail to cooperate, and you know what happens next. Huh? Don't you dare- No! Sounded like a machine gun. There's, there's fire everywhere. Damn it! Looks like we're up against some pretty high-ranking Jaegers here. Uh, they're probably gonna be pretty easy, but you know. <gasps> Dad, don't be dead. Dad, don't be dead. Oh no. There's blood. Oh no. I was not prepared for an emotional journey this Mother. early. No! You guys have made a terrible mistake because now we're gonna go beast mode. <laughs> oh boy. They are so dead. What the? That sword just Ow. immediately shattered. Very nice. Reen? <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. 
He's a monster. Yes. Rain. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's still breathing. Your father's alive, Reen. Oh, thank goodness. Hang in there. I'll do first aid right away. Lady Schwarzer is just fine, too. Okay, I'm glad that you know how to check for a pulse. <laughs> she was knocked unconscious, but I don't see any injuries. She's okay. Auntie Lucia, stay with us. Oh, okay. Goodness. Good. Okay, beast mode has been deactivated. Are you... are you back to normal? Well, our hair has changed back to normal, so clearly... Reen, speak to me! Sorry, Elise. I lost control of myself again. It's alright. It's alright. You came back to me in the end, and that's all that matters. Okay. Um, are there more Jaegers about, though? Please. I'm sorry. I really am. Are there more Jaegers? Do we need to fight? Auntie Lucia? Are you alright, Auntie Lucia? Uh, your Highness, you're unharmed. Yeah. It's fine. And it's all because of you and your family. Well, specifically, I can't even begin to thank you enough. Your Highness, there's no need to cry. You have the face of an angel. Please don't spoil it with tears. Well, I'm glad she's in no mortal danger. True. Tova, what about father? Well, the blood's gone. I've given him some first aid, but he was injured pretty severely. We should get him to somewhere he can receive proper treatment as soon as possible. Okay. Got it. No. Where is that? Dad. Honestly, some people have no patience. Stop talking in our heads. That's weird. Or were you talking from the bird? Vita, you... What do you want with us this time? Yeah. Concerns about how things were over here, so I decided to come and have a look. Okay. Duke Alborea's really gone and done it this time. Yeah. It's obvious that he really wants to get ahead of Duke Cayenne, but this isn't the most prudent way to do it. <sighs> you act like he's not one of your allies. Now, now. There's no need to take your anger out on me. I can't okay. undo what's already happened, but if it will help, I can at least clear up his mess for you. What does that mean? It's time to sleep, my children. Fall into a loving oblivion, cradled in your merciful mother's arms. I don't like the sounds of this. A lullaby? No. This is... It's a spell. <laughs> oh. Mmm... <laughs> You will descend the mountain as you are, and you will report to Duke Alborea that you found nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, Mother. We will. Okay. Well. Oh, my. Hopefully they get their walking figured out, you know, because if they show up to Duke Alborea like that, he's going to know something's going on. Unbelievable. So this is what you witches are capable of, is it? Yes. It's the least I could do after all the trouble you've been through. Duke Alborea is unlikely to doubt what they tell him, so this village shouldn't be targeted again for a while. Okay. Although, so what I'm do you gain out of this? Pales in comparison to what I would have to do to earn your forgiveness. You're trying to earn our forgiveness, you say? Why? Um, I. Misty, are you? Don't be taken in by her sweet talk. She doesn't do things like this out of kindness. She doesn't. Targets in sight. Excuse me? Ah, no. What? Ah! Yay! 
Hey! Elise, your highness! How dare you! Shit! We were having a moment! The time? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I figured. She wanted to capture her for, him, for herself. Now that was silly of you, wasn't it? You should never take your eyes off the princess you're meant to be protecting. As far as knights go, I'm afraid you failed spectacularly in nearly every regard. Yeah, that sounds like me. Please, let me go! Honestly, that doesn't look safe at all. Targets apprehended you did, successfully. They do not look secured. Targets identified as Objective 1 and Objective 2. Mission complete. Who are you? And what do you want? And why does that thing you're on look just like Eric Getlam? It really does. I take it you being with her means you're an enforcer or something? Okay. Uh, I don't comprehend your question. Hmm. She's not with Ouroboros, actually. She's a behind-the-scenes helper of sorts who was donated to the Noble Alliance by an anonymous benefactor. Excuse me? Think of her as yet another ally of the Alliances, much like ourselves, Zephyr, and the Imperial Liberation Front. Excuse me. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a more terrifying lineup right there. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. If you like, you can think of me as the Wicked Witch, while she's the Black Rabbit guiding my steps with every adorable hop. Uh, stop messing around! Lady Clotilde, please give the order to retreat. Clotilde, okay. All right. Come on, put that in the brain. Come on, Clotilde, Clotilde, Clotilde. There is no I'm need never to gonna remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. Let's be going. I need to have like a like a cheat sheet of pronunciations. Will I make it? No, no, I won't. Bye bye. We'll Elise, come save you. Stop! Stop! Bring them back. <laughs> Our story is well underway. There will be many obstacles waiting for you, but struggle on and overcome them. Oh, you better believe we'll do that. And I'm sure that eventually you'll reach the stage where the Azure Chevalier awaits. Don't let me down, Reen Schwarzer. I won't let it end this way. Hang in there, you two! I'm coming for you! I promise! We're gonna save you! Oh gosh. We're at about time. Okay. Good to know. Same time! Oh no. <laughs> we've got we've got more cutscene. Alright. Oh boy. Noble Alliance Forces Flagship. Pantegral? Sure. So is Alborea on there? I would guess. Who's piloting this thing? Is this going to be our little meeting of big bads? The villains of the story? Clearly yes, because hmm. Rufus is here. Has something wondrous caught your eye? Yup. Well, well, that's three. It isn't Duke Cayenne and the Azure Chevalier. Well, hello. Marvelous, isn't it, Rufus? Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? We're gonna blow this ship up real good one of these days. Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it all but in our grasp. I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such pleasures. But the war is, indeed, raging on, just as you say. True. And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. 
<laughs> so young, and yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had I a son like you, then I too would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. Okay. <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Green though I may be, I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will as Supreme Commander of the Noble Alliance. Ah, uh, that's not a good title, though. <laughs> well, now you know <laughs> it's a really. I am Supreme Commander. Yes, really but bad. I wouldn't permit merely anyone to take the position. That's a, of not a good staff. title, Supreme Mr. Commander. Short, you have earned my favor. You're gonna die. We are both equally burdened to guide this conflict to a swift conclusion. All for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. Sure. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding? At present, 60% of the nation is under our control. Oh, wow. But on the other hand, the Imperial Army still has a full 50% of its military might remaining. Okay. The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the East and West. <laughs> Excellent. Our alliance forces have you, as well as the Panzer Soldats. We have General Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace, two of the finest okay. soldiers the provincial army. I feel like I should seen. know those names, but I don't. To say nothing of the Azure Diva and the countless other allies lending us their aid. Roy. Our victory is only a matter of time. Wouldn't you agree, Crow? <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. We're gonna get you out of there, Crow! Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent. We're gonna get you, we're gonna beat you, and we're gonna convince you to join our side! Ordine isn't gonna be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. They're not that mind-bogglingly powerful, sorry to say. <laughs> Come now, Crow. You're so modest. Well, no matter. We needn't concern ourselves with Crossbell for the present. Gilead Osborne has fallen. No longer will we be plagued by that detestable man and his foolish ideals. But you've made some monsters that you will have to deal with. <sighs> However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. And this great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. And those pollutants are gonna choke you. To death. Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form. A land ruled by nobles. Heck you. Heck nobles. Heck billionaires. As you wish. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. <laughs> no! And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance Absolutely may be required not. at some point. <laughs> Give it some thought, won't you? It's gonna be the other way around. Understood. We are not joining... <laughs> Why would we ever join this side? The clear villains of the story. You don't think it'll be quite as easy as our friend the Duke does, do you? Not at all, no. I can see it written all over your face. <laughs> Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. Okay, right. Then there's the fact we couldn't catch the Crimson Wings. Whatever other potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting cocky. Right, right. <laughs> My brother is no less a son of the House of Alberea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster. And I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... Okay. Now who's showing up? Oh boy! Here's the rest of the villains. circumstances are exactly the reason we carry only the finest insurance. Are they not, dear ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> You're so right. We kicked your two butts real bad last time. I'm not concerned. Feels kind of overkill having all of us on the same side. Still, this is how wars are fought. Eh, whatever. So long as we get to have our fun. <laughs> Just don't forget. We're not here for you. 
We won't be working together forever. <laughs> oh, but the fireworks that will spark from our partnership will be ever so beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's just so many fantastic voice actors on this side. It's such a shame that we have to kick their butts. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Point taken. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. Except for, uh, our monster, <laughs> Mr. Reed. That's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. You're up against the Iron Bloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and enjoy your fill of battle. Oh boy. So, we've got our enemies set. Time to start finding some allies, I think. Oh hey, here's the actual opening. Um, I did include this in the start of the series, so I'm just gonna skip it because I need to end the episode. So that was the prologue done. It's funny because if I had been, uh, if this if this had been Cold Steel one, this would be like episode like maybe three, but now it's like episode eight, nine, something like that. Uh, <laughs> rambling, so I'm gonna stop. And so next time we will be continuing on. I'm not pressing any buttons because I don't want to advance. Uh, so next time we'll be going on to chapter one and seeing what lies beyond. So look forward to that. And uh, if you enjoyed anything in this episode, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So see ya.